Hi, welcome to How to Repair. This video is on how to change a washing machine door seal on a Zanussi, which is part of the Electrolux group. This video can be used on all washer types uh, from 2012 onwards, as the concrete block on the later models has to be removed in order to change the door seal. Uh, so I do apologise for it being a long video. I've compacted it as short as I can. Uh, it's about 12-13 minutes altogether. Okay, so let's start the repair. The first thing we had to do was disconnect the appliance from the electricity supply, remove the lid, which is two Phillips screws at the back, followed by the soap drawer. Then we've got to remove the facial panel, is the two bolts which I'm undoing at the moment, which are 7 mil. And then you have to remove this stainless steel screw, which is inside the soap drawer area. Now we have to remove the steel strengthening bar which runs across the top at the front which is held on on this model with uh, two torque screws either side and there are also two Phillips screws which actually run into the soap door. You must remember that the disassembly process from model to model will slightly vary but the technique is all the same. So these are the two screws that run into the soap door now we're able to lift the steel bracket watching the clip that runs into it from the facial panel which you can see by my fingers there and the panel will now come away now there's a wiring harness that clips onto the facial circuit board you just need to depress a piece of plastic which is a clip and then just unplug the wiring if there are multiple plugs on the board, I do recommend taking a photograph so you know where they come from. Now you need to remove the plastic band which holds the door seal in place onto the facial panel. Be careful with it, it is quite brittle uh, and can snap. Now you need to remove the door seal off the front panel. But while I'm doing that, I've put some links above which will take you through to the website and also to our shop where you're able to buy these Zanussi door seals. Now just undoing the two um, torque drives that hold the door lock in place. And we're just leaning the machine back as there's three hidden screws at the bottom, again which are torques. These need to be removed and then we're nearly ready to remove the front, front panel completely. While I'm doing this you'll see our links to YouTube and Facebook up above. Uh, we do ask you to subscribe to our channel as that's what keeps us going and able to make these free videos for you. Also remember when searching the website for your door seal you need to put your model number in. Uh, in full and that can be found around the door area you'll see some labels there now we're just taking off the panel it clips into place as you can see on where my hand is and also the door lock just needs to actually be lifted backwards slightly at a 45 degree angle to slide it out and now we'll remove the band that attaches the seal to the soap drawer Now this mark is very important. This is the alignment for the door seal. When reassembling the machine, we need to get this absolutely smack on. Right, we're just removing the five screws that hold the concrete block in place. They're torque drives. And once we've got these removed, we're going to prise the concrete block off the lugs and away from the drum assembly. It's much more difficult than it looks, uh, so do take your time doing this, and it's a good idea to get someone to help you. Uh, this is the block, and we need to move this towards us off the lugs. Now, I'm just using a very large flat blade screwdriver, making sure that I'm not putting any pressure on the drum. Um, once you've loosened it, just go round slowly keeping it evenly coming off these lugs. It will take you a while to actually uh, get this off but just take your time. Mm. 
and there we go. Now all we need to do is remove the spring tension band which holds the door seal onto the outer tub. And now the door seal is ready to come off. And there we go. Right, I was working on a new machine so it doesn't actually need cleaning up. But with a scouring pad, uh, just go round, remove all the grime from the outer tub and on the inside as well before fitting the new seal. Now you can see the mark on the seal here. This night needs to line up perfectly. So get it as close as you can to start. And then just by peeling the lip of the seal over the edge of the drum, work the seal all the way round. A little bit more closer detail here. You can see me peeling the seal over the lip. If you do have trouble actually getting this on, uh, another technique which I use is by smearing a little bit of fairy liquid or detergent uh, just to make it uh, slide easier. That does help. One of the most important things to get correct on this seal is that the alignment point at the top is pretty much 100% uh, in line. The reason being is not so much on this model, but on washer dryers and other models you have more than one uh, pipe actually fitting onto the door seal. So the reason these marks are there is to make sure that all the uh, pipes line up and also the drainage holes in the seal itself which allow the water to run back into the drum all match up perfectly and there we go all done so all we need to do now is put the wire band on just stretch it and pull it all the way over and again, once you've done it, make sure you inspect it. And now we're ready to put the concrete block back on. Now again, when putting this concrete block on, do just tap it softly, evenly, all the way around. Now you can either use your hand, a rubber hammer would be the perfect tool, or I'm using the back end of a mallet, which has got a wide handle, so I'm not actually putting any impact on the concrete. And just tap it on. You don't need to hit it hard, just work it round all the way slowly. And you can actually see the plastic coming through, the concrete here. So just make sure they've all come through. And now we're ready to put the screws back in. Now while I'm doing that, as I said before, uh, please subscribe to our channel as that's what keeps us going and able to make these free videos for you and you're also able to go to the website and obtain the door seal for your appliance. Now when doing these bolts up it's very important not to do them up with the uh, drill. Uh, take them reasonably tight and then do them by hand. Uh, the reason being is you wouldn't want to shear any of the plastic lugs uh, by over tightening. So I always recommend just whipping them up with the drill and then manually tightening them by hand and there we go now we're ready to reassemble the fit the soap door and then we'll fit the front panel and put all the bits back on good little technique with a band to use a small screwdriver just to hook it over When reassembling the machine it's quite important that you get the correct screws going back in the correct spot because some of them are threaded, um, in other words metric threads and other are tapered screws. Again you can see me putting the door lock in at a 45 degree angle and then just hooking it over. Now when fitting the door seal onto the front facial panel 
again just take your time it's got a marker at the top but just take your time work it all the way around to make sure it's sat in the groove correctly and again if you're having any trouble just use a little bit of fairy liquid or detergent just to help it slide over reassemble the electrics and you're ready to fit the facial panel a couple of lugs that slot into the front panel and then that little clip at the top while I'm doing this at the website we have video tutorials on cookers fridges tumble dryers etc so uh, feel free to come and browse if you have any problem with your appliance you're always uh, welcome to ask us a question and if you're looking for a part just give us your full model number and the part that you're after and it's always a good idea to include your landline telephone number and we're quite happy to uh, give you a call and ring you back because of costs we're not able to uh, call mobile numbers but we will call landlines that's the band in place and the last thing that needs to be done is the three screws at the bottom And the last thing we need to do is put the machine on test. I always recommend putting a piece of cardboard under the machine after you've actually uh, fitted the door seal and let it go through a wash cycle and then remove the cardboard and check for any leaks. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching. We hope you bought the part of us and if not you can always buy us a beer. Thanks very much for watching.